Good health this morning. It's called alkaline water. What mm -hmm. you see right here, and you might have seen it on your store shelves at your local grocery store. Yes, but what is it? Fans claim that it can do everything from hydrate you better to reduce acid reflux, lower your risk of cancer, and even slow down the aging process. Well, all very good things. So on this Wellness Wednesday, Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to show you what makes this water different and whether alkaline water is really worth trying. To understand alkaline water, I have to take you back to chemistry class for a second. Tap, or regular water, has a pH of roughly 7. It's neutral. Things with a pH less than 7 are acidic. Think lemon juice or vinegar. Now, things with a pH over 7 are alkaline. Alkaline water has a high pH. Some alkaline water is created naturally as water comes through a mineral spring with high concentrations of magnesium, potassium, or calcium. Other alkaline waters are created with a process called ionization, often with minerals added afterward. Now, the health claims are based on a vague notion that most people's diets tend toward acidification. Therefore, alkaline water could help offset acids in our diet. But how much of this is science and how much is marketing? First off, your stomach is full of acid that begins the digestive process. When you drink alkaline water and it mixes with the stomach acid, the alkaline component is basically immediately neutralized. Think vinegar and baking soda, just less dramatic. It's also important to understand that your body tightly regulates its pH, which is normally 7.4, and it does that by excreting acid or alkaline base from your kidneys or by changing your breathing to remove carbon dioxide. The point is, even if the modest amount of alkaline content was successfully absorbed, it wouldn't have any effect on your overall pH, and medically you wouldn't want it to. Having an elevated pH is not normal. There is very little research supporting any health benefit of alkaline water, and the little there is was either sponsored by the bottlers of the water or is too small to draw any meaningful conclusion. I asked Erin Dolinsky, a registered dietitian at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak, to share her thoughts on alkaline water. She, too, was unimpressed with the lack of solid research. In reality, natural water, plain tap water, provides the most benefits. But she understands the appeal. As always, most individuals want the quick fix. At the end of the day, it's best just to save your money and just drink plain tap water. Now, generally, alkaline water isn't harmful unless you have severe kidney problems where an excess of certain minerals could be bad. It tastes exactly like regular water, but it is more expensive. In fact, this brand actually comes from New Zealand, so it has traveled over 8,000 miles to get to you right here in the Great Lakes State. Back to you. Listen. <laughs> well, my gosh. All should the way we try from New it? Zealand, we should definitely we gotta try, try it. it. This is New Zealand water. I know New Zealand's known for some pretty good wine. <laughs> Like Sauvignon Blanc from wait, New Zealand. What are we? Are we trying that next? That's tomorrow. Just saying that they might have good water too. Cheer, wait, cheers. Cheers. Now that's delicious. Tastes just like water. Tastes like regular water to me, <laughs> folks. I would never have known it traveled all the way from New Zealand. Mm. Don't pay the extra money for that. <laughs>